He was magic in the game, John. To restate your question, because I, I want to make sure that I got it correct. Your question was, do I feel like it's inevitable that we, as Native American authors that write about Native American people, is it inevitable that we talk about bad things, quote unquote bad things? Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of a different perspective on that question. Follow me here for a second. I've been an uncle since I was 12 years old. My first niece, my beautiful baby girl named Veronica was born. When she was born, I, I realized what love was about. It's the first time in my life I realized what love was about. And then later on that same year, my little brother Suta was born, Suta Gyal. And then now I'm a father. I have 13 nieces and nephews, but I'm also a father and I understand what love is about. And the reason why I bring that up here is because people call it bad stuff, those things. But when my niece Veronica was born, I realized that everything about her, that was the first time in my life I realized that I loved everything about somebody. She could giggle and it was cute. She could move her arms slightly and it was cute. She also, it was strange. I realized that when, whenever she farted, I thought it was the cutest thing in the world. And a lot of people would say, those things are, that's kind of nasty. It's an imperfection. People should hide that and stuff. But I think that a lot of times in any given person, that that's the thing that makes them most lovable. That's the thing that only you know about because people aren't going to fart around people they don't trust or know. So a lot of these stories I feel like are what people would say as imperfections or bad things. They're just kind of our little baby farts. They're, they're kind of Indian farts, you know? And, and, and because of that, I embrace them because it's a part of us. Those are, you know, those bad things are just as much a part of us as the quote unquote good things.